Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to show you how you can easily transfer all of your stocks in your current broker to interactive brokers. In my specific case, I actually used to use Revolut to buy all my stocks. And I really love the app and I think to get started is still one of the best ways to buy your stocks. However, as your portfolio grows and you may want to add some ETFs to it, Revolut becomes actually quite restrictive. And that's why after looking around and trying different brokers, I ended up with interactive brokers one of the longest serving and biggest brokers in the world. Available in over 130 countries. So most likely, wherever you're watching from, you'll be able to use interactive brokers. And not so long ago, I've actually done a video about this, how I transferred all my stocks from Revolut to interactive brokers. And I thought at the time it was a pretty good way to go about it. However, thanks to some very smart viewers of this channel who did let me know in the comments that there is a much better way to go about it. And today I'm going to show you exactly how you're going to do it. Right, so the first thing you want to do is obviously log into your interactive brokers account. You can't really do this on the app, so you should do this from the web portal. So once you're in there, you're going to see your dashboard. And wow, finally I can see some green on my portfolio. 400 euros up today. Anyhow, what you want to do then is head over to transfer and pay. So you're going to click on this and then navigate to transfer positions. So this is where you're going to do the fund transfer and from here you're going to have three choices obviously you can transfer within your own accounts in case you have a second ibkr account in case you want to transfer your funds out of interactive brokers onto another broker you could do this here as well and lastly that's the option we're looking for is transferring your funds from another broker into interactive brokers so you want to go ahead and click that and from here you're going to have to select which region your transfer is coming in obviously you have us you have canada or all other regions. So it really depends where your broker is situated. So most brokers will actually allow you to transfer the funds out. But to be 100% sure, you can just go in here and select the country where your broker is situated. And then if they will pop up, that means they will allow you to transfer the funds out and into interactive brokers. If they're not listed here, then unfortunately it won't be possible. But honestly, there's so many brokers listed here. So it's highly likely that your broker is gonna be featured here as well. As I mentioned in my case, I transferred my funds from Revolut to interactive brokers. However, Revolut in the app doesn't actually show you the option of doing so. And if you look for Revolut over here, you won't find them. And that's why I actually didn't do it back then. Instead, I was selling all my stocks and then rebuying them in interactive brokers, which is really not the best way to go about it. But then I actually figured out that Revolut is using Drive Wealth to do all those stock transfers. And as you can see over here on the Revolut website, it says, who is Drive Wealth? Drive Wealth LLC is our third party broker who executes all trades transmitted through Revolut. Drive Wealth is a registered broker, member of FINRA and SIPC. And if you want to have more information, you can click on here and it takes you to the Drive Wealth website and basically it explains you all the process. That's why you will not find Revolut on the interactive broker's website listed. However, if you look for Drive Wealth on there, you will find it listed in the USA. So with this, let's go back into the app and find it. Right, so go ahead and select the United States. And from here, you have different options. You have the ACAD system, which is the automated customer account transfer system. So you can see here, it takes four to eight days. And in terms of fees, it's also listed here, etc. There's a couple of other options as well. Transfer shares held at transfer agents, which is not really relevant. A transfer employee stock options or share plan assets, which you know may or may not be applicable to you. And there's also the free of payment transfer of US securities. So you can have read through what is the best option for you. But from what I understand, the most common one is the ACAD system. So if you have stocks with a US broker, definitely go ahead and select that one. So we're going to do just that. And from here, you can see already a couple of very popular brokers listed over here. So if you have any of them, you can just go ahead and click them. Otherwise, you can choose a broker. So here I have a list of all the brokers that allow transfer of their stocks to interactive brokers. You can see it's really a lot. But as I've shown you before, we want to transfer our Revolut shares in this example. So I'm going to put Revolut and I will see nothing. But if I now put Drive Wealth, you can see here, boom, it finds it and then I can go ahead and do that transfer. And from here, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and fill a number of details, such as the account number at the broker. And I don't remember if it showed me in Revolut that number, most likely it won't, but if you write to Revolut support, they will have to give you that number and then you can plug it over here. So you could do this in advance just to have it on hand when you're ready to fill it in and go ahead. The name your account is under, and then of course the account type. So you can select if it's an individual, a joint account, but most likely it's gonna be an individual, I suppose. Then you're gonna select that. You can put your tax identification number, but it may not be required. And you can save the broker information if you want to for future withdrawals in case you don't wanna withdraw everything at once. And then last, you can select if you want to transfer all your assets or just some of them. So if it's all, you can just go ahead and select all, or if it's no and just some, you can actually define which of the shares you want to transfer. Then you're just gonna click continue if you filled it out. And from there, interactive brokers would reach out to your current broker and start the transfer process. They will do everything at the back end through that system and initiate the transfer. It will take a couple of days. There might be some fees attached to it, but it's definitely a much better option than having to sell your current stocks, potentially 
pay any tax on your gains and then rebuying it, potentially at a higher price than you sold it. It's much more messy, cumbersome and cost inefficient than going through the simple process where Interactive Brokers takes care of the entire transfer process. As I said at the beginning of the video, you can transfer pretty much any stock broker to Interactive Broker. So just to demonstrate you, let's go back and transfer from another region, for example, and then I pull up a list of different transfers. Here you can see you don't have the ACADS system anymore, but you have the free of payment transfer of global securities. It can take a couple of weeks, depending you know, where your stock broker is listed, but still the process is pretty much the same. And from here, you could go ahead and select that. And then you can see a list of all the brokers that are available to transfer. And you can see it is really a long list and pretty much most countries one way or the other are going to have some kind of brokers listed here. So it's highly unlikely that your broker won't be listed here. And if it isn't, it's probably for a reason that they're not big enough or not trustworthy enough. For example, one very popular broker in Europe is actually the Giro. So you can see over here, the Giro is found and they can transfer it out of the Giro into an active broker. So you can have a look for yourself, but most likely you're going to be finding your current broker in here. And would that be able to transfer it into interactive brokers. I know, right? Seems like such a small thing that any broker should offer, but you will be surprised how few brokers actually let you to transfer their stocks into their account. I really struggled doing this with other brokers to transfer accounts from existing brokers to a new broker. So Interactive Broker makes this experience very easy. And that's why I really love the platform that they really allow you to transfer from anywhere and also transfer out of it, right? Because even if another broker allows you to transfer funds in, if they don't let you to transfer funds out, that's very limited and restrictive. And who knows what's going to be in five, 10 years from now. Interactive Brokers may not exist anymore. Hopefully they do. But if they don't, I can transfer the funds out and into another broker, right? Because brokers come and go. For a while, one is popular, then another one may offer more attractive terms. So I might potentially want to transfer to them and don't want to have to sell every single time my entire stock portfolio. So whichever broker you sign up, obviously that's your choice, but make sure that they allow the option to either transfer funds from your broker out of it or from another broker into your current broker. That should be a minimum requirement of a good broker. And if they don't offer you these options, I would really think twice if you want to go ahead with them. Because even if a broker goes bust, they just holding the shares for you in your name. It doesn't mean that they will sell the shares to liquidate. You are still the owner of the shares and then can just easily transfer them to another broker. If a broker doesn't give you the options, you might be in a position where your shares disappear with your broker. And that's obviously not a situation you want to be in. If you haven't signed up to Interactive Brokers yet, then please use the link in the description below and win up to $1,000 worth of Interactive Brokers stock. Next up, you can check out the video over here. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, it means the world to me. As always, guys, stay healthy, get wealthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.